Hello, my name is Stacy Kinlaw. I'm your Bladen County 4-H agent, and I get to bring you today's 4-H Daily Spark. But before we get started, let's do our 4-H pledge together. I pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. All right, let's get into our daily spark. I'm going to be going over one of the activities from this year's National Youth Science Day program, Game Changers. Game Changers is, was designed for ages eight to 14, but don't worry, if you're a little younger or a little older, you'll still enjoy today's activity. You can look back at some of the social media posts around National Youth Science Day in 2019 by following the hashtag 4HNYSD. All right, so like I said, we're going to do an unplugged computer science activity. That means that we're going to learn about computer science, but we're going to be unplugged from the computer. Today's activity is called Hack Your Harvest. The goals for today are that you understand the term efficiency as it relates to computer science specifically. Also, we're gonna do some programming and you're gonna to learn to write an algorithm to solve a problem for a board game. You may be thinking, what is an algorithm? But we'll learn that by doing the 4-H way. So my first question, what comes to mind when you hear the term efficient? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about that. All right, you got any ideas? That's right. Efficiency is the ability to do things well without waste. It can be um, accomplishing a task successfully and making sure that you do it with the least amount of effort or the least amount of resources. You're going to need to know the term efficient to successfully hack your harvest in today's board game. All right, so at home, you're gonna need some paper. It can be scratch paper or blank paper and a pencil or a pen to complete the activities with me. On my end, I'm gonna have some game boards, some dry erase markers and, and a game piece. And I know the rules and I'll be telling them to you later. All right, game changers, now you're ready for your first puzzle in Hack Your Harvest. So, for this puzzle, you are going to write an algorithm or a set of instructions to get the tractor from the starting point to the barn or the finish line. The instructions that you can use or the commands that you can use are the arrow keys or drawing arrows since we're writing on pen and paper in our unplugged activity. You can only use the up arrow, arrow the down arrow, the, side, the right arrow, or the left arrow. For each move, you have to draw an arrow. For instance, if I want the tractor to go down two spaces, I have to draw two down arrows. If I want him to go to the left two spaces, I have to draw two left spaces, two left arrows. So I want you to write the number of commands, write each command it takes to get the tractor all the way safely to the barn. Remember that word efficient? I want you to see how efficient you can be by doing it in the least amount of moves possible. So take a few minutes and write down the commands that you think it takes to get the tractor from the starting point to the finish in the least instructions possible. Remember, you're trying to be efficient. You can draw your arrows in a line, like up here at our guide. You can draw the first move if you're going down. Then the second move, for instance, might be over. And then down, down, and keep going until you get to the finish line. All right, game changers. How many moves 
did it take you to get from the start to the finish? And remember, there may be more than one solution to get to solve this problem. The most efficient choice is in 10 moves, but you can do that a number of ways. And start here and go down one, two, three, four, five, and then over one, two, three, four, five. That's 10 moves. Or I can go in a um, angled pattern by going down and across three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you were wrote down only nine commands, then you may have just forgotten to go into the finish line or may have forgotten to count your first move from start, but 10 is definitely the lowest number of moves that we could use to solve this first puzzle. Now our puzzles are gonna gradually get more difficult as we go because I'm gonna introduce some barriers. So now our tractor is at start and I'm introducing two new barriers. This gray sticker here is a boulder. Tractors cannot go where boulders are, so we have to go around the boulder. And then this black sticker here is a bramble. Now, if my tractor wants to go through the bramble, it's going to take a second command. We're going to have to cut through the bramble. And so for that, I want you to draw a star, okay? So anytime you want to go through a bramble in this puzzle or in our future uh, puzzles, you're going to want to Use a star command first and then draw your arrow to get in that position. So I would do star and then over as my first two moves if I wanted to go there. All right, so now remember, we're still trying to be efficient. So I want you to find the most efficient path to get the farmer to the finish line without going near or in the space with the boulder and if you choose to go this way, remember you have to add an extra command or an extra step and use the star command to cut the bramble. We'll give you a few minutes to find the most efficient route. All right, game changers, what was the most efficient route this time? It was also 10 spaces. This time it was more efficient to go around both the boulder and the bramble rather than take an extra move and have to cut through the bramble. That would have made it 11 moves instead of the 10. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit harder, okay? I'm gonna introduce some more boulders. So this one, as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five boulders that we have to go around. And remember again, if we decide the most efficient route is through the bramble, we'll have to cut it with a star first and then move into the space, okay? All right, so I'm gonna give you a few minutes to see what is the most efficient route on this game board. This is challenge number two. All right, game changers, this time it was more efficient to cut through the bramble to get to the finish line. So basically, your first command would have been star to cut through the bramble and then over, 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 down, 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 down. And it should be 11 commands. You could also have cut through the bramble, star, over, 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 and then go down, 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 and then a final over. Either way, that's 11 commands. So that was the most efficient way to get the farmer from to the finish line without running into a boulder. Add a little bit more information for our farmer. So farmers, what do they do? They plant crops, right? And then they sell their crops to make money. But the farmer can't sell any crop he has it collected. So this time, we have to help the farmer get from the start to the finish, and he has to collect all the lettuces that are in his way. Still, remember, we're trying to keep him as efficient as possible. So I want you to find the number of moves that it takes to collect the lettuces. The new command that you need to know to collect lettuce is the money sign. So what happens is when you land on a space with the lettuce, you need to add a command of the money sign to pick it up, and then you can move on to your next space. So for instance, to get started on this puzzle, I would choose 
down, 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 money. Then what do you think I would do next? That's right, I'm gonna move over. Keep solving this problem to collect the other head of lettuce and make it to the finish line, and let me know how you do. All right, Game Changers, I think that should have taken you 14 commands. Let's test it out. One, two, three, pick up the lettuce. Four, five, six, seven, pick up the lettuce. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Gets us all the way to the finish line. Let's add one more head of lettuce and see what happens. Do you think it's gonna take more moves or less? So here's our farmer, and now you see we have three heads of lettuce. Once again, when you get to the head of lettuce, you want to pick it up, so you're going to use the command for the money sign. This is going to be the toughest puzzle yet, but I want you to see how many moves can it take you to get from start to finish collecting all the lettuce. All right, Game Changers, did you hack your harvest? If you did it in 23 moves, that's the most efficient path possible. If it took you a little more, then there's a better way. If it took you less, then you skipped a spot. <laughs> I was gonna demonstrate for you how, how I would have solved this problem. So first I would have gone down, 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 and collected my lettuce with the money sign. Then I would have gone across, and up, 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 across to the lettuce and collect my money sign. And then up, up, over, over, collect my lettuce with the money sign, and then down, 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 and then to the finish line. And that should be 23 moves. You guys have done an outstanding job hacking your harvest today. What did we find out when we added the heads of lettuce? It did, it took us more moves. And also, the more heads of lettuce there are, the more different ways you could have gone. Because you could always, after you go down here, you could go this way, or you could go over a little bit and then start going up, or you could go over two and start going up. So there are many different ways you could have solved this problem and still got 23. Now it's your turn. So this week, I challenged my own girls to create their own game and write an algorithm to solve it. I would like for you to do the same thing. So I challenge you to create your own board name, board game and write out the commands to solve the problem. One of my girls chose to do a board game around the coronavirus. So her starting point was the grocery store and she was trying to get home and along the way she put little viruses and so she had to try to dodge the viruses in order to get safely home. And then she thought about it, what if I need to go through the virus? And so then she created commands for putting on masks and gloves. I thought that was very creative. I'd love to see what kind of games that you create on your own. That's not the only challenge I have for you. Um, but first, let's talk a little bit about what we learned today. So you were able to practice being efficient in your programming by using this unplugged computer science activity. And the second thing, you successfully wrote algorithms which were a set of instructions that tells the computer how to solve a problem. Because remember, the computer doesn't know how to do anything unless the programmer tells it what to do. So you were great programmers today in our Hack Your Harvest activity. Now, I want to do a little plug about an activity that kicks off today. North Carolina A&T State University and North Carolina 4-H are teaming up to offer the 4-H Clover Teamed Coding Challenge for grades 4th through 12th. There will be two different age groups, and we're encouraging kids to use Scratch, which is a free online coding platform that kids can access to create their own public service announcements about the coronavirus. Details about this challenge can be found on our new Facebook page. If you go to Facebook and search 
4-H Clover Teen Challenge 2020, you should find our page very easily. You have until May the 4th to create your challenge. We'll be putting some tips and instructions on that Facebook page so that you can better create your public service announcements. We're excited about this challenge and can't wait to see what all of you coders can create. And did I mention that there are prizes? There'll be prizes for each age group. Thank you so much for tuning in today for our 4-H Daily Spark. I've enjoyed sharing my favorite activity out of Game Changers, which was the 2019 National Youth Science Day Experiment. See you later, guys. Thank you.